On the 12th of January, the Yonex Thailand Open successfully kicked off the Asian leg of the HSBC BWF World Tour 2020. Players from around the world converged in Bangkok, all geared up for the first of three back-to-back -back tournaments at the Impact Arena. The excitement about the return of competitive badminton was unmissable. I'm just really excited to, to now get started here. You know, it's been a long time being in quarantine and training beforehand, so I've been really looking forward to it. I have been a long time not played um, any match, so I feel a little bit strange because the, the, I want to play without the, any crown, so I need to more focus on myself. Perasaannya senang banget ya kita bisa kembali bertanding lagi setelah selama pandemi kita 10 bulan, 10 bulanan enggak ada pertandingan. Yang pasti uh, kangen juga kita udah enggak bertanding terus juga pas tadi sih kita masih cari-cari feel aja sih. Ya sedikit beda lah. Kita lagi, lagi nyari-nyari feel. -nya. Oh, 처음에 처음 너무 오랜만에 뛰는 경기여 가지고 좀 어, 좀 긴장도 많이 되고 또 코로나 때문에 좀 걱정도 많이 되고 그런 마음가짐으로 첫 코트에 들어갔는데 생각보다 경기가 처음에 좀 헤맸지만 그래도 가면 가서 좀잘 풀려 가지고 어, 기분은 괜찮은 것 같아요. 쌤. <웃음> For many players, the Super 1000 event was their first tournament in nearly 10 months, and this meant the nerves got the better of them as they were pushed to the brink in the early rounds. However, for some of the big names, their opponents proved too strong on the day. Sixth seeded Pusala v Sindhu was the biggest casualty on day one. The world champion shown the door by Denmark's Mia Blichfeldt. Sindhu looked in control with an opening game win and a lead midway through the second, it then turned into a battle of attrition as Blickfeld fought off two match points and finally converted her own fourth opportunity to level the match. The third game was all Blickfeld as the Indian's challenge wilted, allowing the Dane a comfortable finish to secure her first win over Sindhu in four meetings. I'm very satisfied and uh, I'm very proud of my mindset because uh, I think I struggled a lot and Sindhu is a tough player to get play against because she is so physical strong. But I think that I managed to like hold the speed in my legs today. Well, I prepared well, but then I think it was not my day, and uh, I, I should have finished it off in the second set. But uh, yeah, I lost. But then in the third set, I was you know in the starting, I was like four one. I should have gone with that. But then yeah, unfortunately, I started doing mistakes, and I gave her the lead. So by the time I wanted to cover, she was like too much in the lead, and then yeah. Team India delivered an upset of their own as mixed doubles duo Ashwini Ponapa and Sanwik Sairaj Ranki sent sixth seeds Hafiz Faisal and Gloria Emanuel Wijaja packing in round one, 21-11, 27-29, 21-16. The Indonesians struggled with court conditions and what was their first competitive outing since the Yonex All England Open 2020. Kalau dengan kondisi lapangan sih sebenarnya tadi paling uh, angin sama lapangannya juga agak licin. Uh, selebihnya sih kalau dalam permainan sih nggak terlalu mempengaruhi ya. Cuma ya paling tadi sempat beberapa kali kepreset juga karena lapangannya licin. Terus anginnya juga ngebawa shuttle cocknya juga lumayan jauh ya. Itu kalau kondisinya sih. On day two, Denmark came up short in the men's singles and doubles discipline. First, Kim Astrup and Anders Scout Rasmussen exited the tournament at the hands of Wang Chi Lin and Li Yang. With the Danish number one struggling to keep up with the pace and power of their Chinese Taipei opponents, Wang and Li dispatched them 21-13, 21-18 in 39 minutes. Well, we're not uh, thrilled about our, our performance here, but uh, we know that we, we played a good pair. We have had some uh, tough uh, matches against them and uh, today was no different. Um, yeah, we uh, bumped that uh, second set ended so so quickly, uh, playing uh, that well. And uh, we couldn't force uh, it to be closer and uh, to our advantage. But uh, today is uh, not fun right now, but uh, on the other hand, uh, we, we have missed being on court. 
Then, in what was the biggest upset of the round, Liu Darren of Malaysia knocked out third seed Anders Anderson in straight games. The world number 41 produced some sparkling moments on court in his 21-12-21-18 demolition of the Dane. The result came quite out of the blue for Antonsen, champion at the Denisa Denmark Open 2020 against a player who was promoted from the reserves list. I got off to a slow start, um, really slow start today. Um, yeah, and uh, never really got my game going for me, uh, but Darren played his chance. Um, he played a, a good match and yeah, gave it 100%. So. Yeah, he was he was the better man today. Uh, I think I controlled the drift much better compared to him because I think he was I think recently down with COVID also, so I think his condition is a bit down. Most seeded players stayed the course in round two, with the doubles discipline being the biggest losers. In mixed doubles, English seventh seeds Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith crashed out of the hands of Matthias Christensen and Alexandra Bohe in two closely fought games 21-18-21-18. Really disappointed with how we performed, um, but it felt a little bit like a cat and mouse game where nobody ever really was playing maybe 100%. Um, but on the day, I think they just handled the, the awkwardness of the match quite well, or better than we did anyway. But from a tactical point of view, I don't think there's um, a lot to say. Um, I think it was just very much who can handle the conditions better than the other. The biggest surprise came in the final match of the night, where men's doubles world junior champions Leo Rolly Karnando and Daniel Martin of Indonesia upset their fifth-seeded compatriots Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Ruen Ardianto. Karnando and Martin announced their arrival on the tour with a 16-21, 21-17, 22-20 victory. Nggak sia-sia kan latihan disparingin terus kan sama yang senior-senior. Jadi di pertandingan ini bisa ngeluarin kemampuan terbaik. Tapi saya merasa tadi belum belum cukup lah masih panjang kan waktunya walaupun tadi menang, tapi kan tantangan masih banyak ke depannya. Jadi harus lebih fokus lihat lagi. Mereka juga udah tahu kelemahan kita gitu, kelebihan kita dan udah antisipasi. Terus tadi juga emang uh, pola permainan sih udah 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 masuk sih gitu kan udah 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 bagus dan mereka juga Tadi emang benar-benar luar biasa gitu kan, mainnya emang uh, semangat, fighting spiritnya emang luar biasa dan kita emang kalah-kalah di poin akhir aja sih tadi. Twenty intriguing matches were played over two courts on quarterfinals day. In men's singles, Cho Tianqin maneuvered past a fast and dangerous Li Ji Jia to gain his spot in the last four. I think not very satisfied because uh, I think I couldn't take down the first set because uh, I think in the first set I was more advantage. I was leading like four points, so uh, it's quite disappointed. Unka Long Angus chalked up a fourth win over Lee Chuk Yu to maintain his winning record against his younger compatriot. Meanwhile, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting engaged in a tough tussle with Rasmus Gemke in the first two games before steaming ahead 21-5 in the decider. The Indonesia's opponent in the next round, Victor Axelson, raced through his contest after enduring a promising start by Jonathan Christie. Women's singles top seed Tai Su Ying produced another masterclass, needing just 28 minutes to dispatch world number 10, Michelle Lee of Canada. Thai's upcoming rival Mia Blichfeld made light work of her higher-ranked opponent Busanan Ongbangungpan, winning her with speed and aggressive attacks. In the other half of the draw, Supernida Katatong put up an encouraging performance, but her best was not enough to upset the more experienced Carolina Marin. After a competitive opening game that went the way of Korean teenage sensation An Se Young, Home favourite Rachanok Intanon was shown the exit as she lost focus together with the last nine points of the second game. I played with her before, it's not, not like this because she played like more speed last time but today she like played more, more soft. The timing is the same as 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 the timing. The biggest upset of men's doubles saw Muhammad Ahsan and Henry Setiawan knocked out of the competition by Choi Sogyu and Seo Sung Jae. 
The Koreans kept pace with the second seeds throughout the match with their strong finish contributing to their win. Kita juga pernah ketemu dulu sempat kalah juga. Cuma tadi ya apa ya? Kita terlalu banyak ketekan dulu ya. Jadi mereka serang kita baliknya enggak sampai belakang lagi atau bolanya cuma setengah. 19-year-old Leo Rolly Carnando and Daniel Martin, however, gave Indonesia reason to celebrate as they scored the biggest victory of their young career over Olympic bronze medalists Marcus Ellis and Chris Langridge. Kalau ini kan lebih banyak delay delay, lebih banyak mancing emosi. Jadi kita coba buat nggak terpancing emosi. Meanwhile, a surge in performance at the end of both games ensured victory for Gobi Shem and Tanwi Kyung over their junior compatriots Go Sofei and Nuri Zudin. Li Yang and Wang Qilin continued their run of straight game victories, easing past Ong Yu Sin and Chiu Yi Yi after a tight opening game. In the longest contest of the day, Li So Hee and Shin Sung Chan missed the opportunity to wrap up the match in the second game, and instead needed 81 minutes to defeat Chang Yen Na and Kim Hai Rin. Another Korean pair, the fourth seeded Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young, stamped their superiority over Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith, giving up just 19 points in two games. Kim and Kong's last four opponents, Jungkook Pan, Kitty Harakul, and Rawinda Prajongjai, never looked in trouble as they breezed past inexperienced teammates Laksika Kanlaha and Atitaya Povanon. Gracia Poli and Apriyani Rahayu rounded up the last four with a 21-15, 21-12 victory over Perli Tan and Tina Muralitaran, who are ranked 31 spots below the Indonesians. In the only all-seeded mixed doubles clash, top seeds Dechapol Puavaranokro and Sapsuri Taratanachai breezed past fifth seeds Chan Peng Soon and Go Liu Ying, with the Malaysians playing below par due to Go's back injury. Fourth seed Seo Sung Jae and Che Yu Jung raced through the decider after a dismal performance in the second game against Chang Tak Ching and Ng Wing Yung from Hong Kong, China. The second seeds were also safely through. Praveen Jordan and Malati Deva Octavianti fending off a late charge by Denmark's Matthias Christensen and Alexandra Bohe. In an all-European affair, Tom Jiquel and Delphine Del Rue of France fought back from a seven-point deficit in the second game to see off Germany's Mark Lamsfus and Isabel Erchich. I think we, we believe that we can win the second game even if uh, the start was not good, and uh, that's why we won. And I think we were more aggressive yeah. uh, mentally. Yeah. We, we, we shout a bit uh, louder, and <laughs> they put pressure on them, and uh, I think uh, it helped too. Time for a quick break here on Badminton Unlimited, but stay tuned for our semi-final and final roundup of the Yonex Thailand Open. The penultimate day of the Yonex Thailand Open delivered 10 pulsating encounters determining who would make the final cut. Mixed doubles top seeds and Thailand's best chance at silverware in the tournament, Dechapal Puavaranakro Sapsuri Teratanachai, fought back from a game down to defeat Seo Seung Jae, Che Yu Jung of Korea 17-21, 21-17, 22-20, and reached their ninth HSBC BWF World Tour final. In the other semi-final, Praveen Jordan, Malati Deva, Octavianti edged out their French opponents, Tom Jiquel, Delphine Del Rue, 21-16, 23-21 in 44 minutes to set up a rematch of the All England Open 2020 mixed doubles final. Unfortunately, it was a double dose of disappointment for Seo Seung Jae, as he and men's doubles partner Choi Sol Gyu also came up short against Chinese Taipei's Li Yang Wang Chi Lin. 
The match unfolded in similar fashion for Seo as the Koreans saw their opening game advantage slip away, with their opponents getting the better of them in the second and third games. 경기 오늘 좀그 제가 체력적으로 또 부담이 있어서 세트 때는 좀 지쳐서 아 지친 것보다는 좀 움직이지 못해가지고 쉴 수가 많았던 것 같은데 어, 준비 좀잘 쉬고 준비 잘해서 다음 경기에서는 어, 끝까지 뛰어서 이길 수 있도록 하겠습니다. Meanwhile, Indonesia's Leo Roli Karnando, Daniel Martin's giant killing run came to a halt at the final four stage. The men's doubles world junior champions were given a masterclass by Gobi Shem Tanwi Kyung, 21-19, 21-10 in just under half an hour, as the Malaysians reached their first major final in four years. I think both. We, we, we managed to play our, our game and then they also uh, having some, uh, some mistake which is, uh, I think, uh, easy for us for in, in the second set. So uh, for us, uh, it's good that uh, we can play the short game so that we can prepare for the for next one. Grisha, Poli and Apriyani Rahayu remained on track in their bid for a hat-trick of Thailand Open titles after a hard-fought win over Lee So-hee, Shin Seung Chan. The Indonesian fifth seed staged a comeback 15-21, 21-15, 21-16 victory over the Korean duo, leaving Poli overwhelmed after what has been a difficult year. You know, I don't know, I, I just get so emotional because, not because just I just won the game, but um, all the hard work and, you know, the. I think we've been through a lot together as a pair. And, and yeah, this is the good and good perform for us to to go for Olympics 2021. 20, so yeah, we looking, we are looking, really looking forward to the goal. Holly yeah. Rahayu set up a final clash with Jungpo Pan Kitiharapo Rawinda Prajongjai after the home duo reached their first Thailand Open final in their fourth attempt. The seventh seeds defeated Kim So Young, Kong Hee Young, 21 17, 17 21, 22 20 in a nail biting encounter. They have power and power. Big, smack. Mm. big smack and like good pattern. And mm. play like the men, so, but we not strong like them. Like we have to use tactic skill, not, not play hard with them, like only soft and follow, 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 something like that. In women's singles, Carolina Marin booked her fourth final appearance of the 2020 season following a straight games victory over Korea's Anse Young. The Spaniard, in scintillating form, withstood the seventh seed's late charge in both games to emerge triumphant 21-18, 21-16. Korea's charge at the tournament came to an end with none of the five semi-finalists making it through. I was really focused on what I have to do on court in every point. Uh, I mean, I didn't feel any uh, negative uh, situation with myself, so I just keep my mind in the positive way. And uh, yeah, I think uh, if, uh, if I play like, uh, like today, uh, I think I am so ready for tomorrow. All the best. Awaiting Marin in the final would be world number one, Tai Tzu Ying who saved five game points in the second game to see off Mia Blickfeld 21-8, 23-21 and keep her straight games win record in the tournament intact. Ty reached her fourth final in as many tournaments since the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals 2019. Meanwhile, the biggest seed to fall in the semi-final stage was Chinese Taipei's Chou Tianchen. Despite a strong start, the second seed succumbed to a powerful display from Ng Ka Long Angus of Hong Kong, China. The seventh seed staged a superb comeback victory from a game and 7-13 down in the second to book his place in the men's singles final. Uh, he just controlled and uh, uh, I'm difficult to uh, attack and uh, uh, also uh, difficult to defend. So. Uh, it was really difficult to play. I will rate myself 9 out of 10 because I'm very happy to get into the first 1000 final tomorrow. So uh, I, I'm very excited with it. In the other semi final, Victor Axelson emerged victorious in a topsy turvy encounter against fifth seed Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. After winning the first game, the Dane was made to fight back from a game and 7-11 down in the decider to seal the crucial victory just after the hour mark. I think I lost focus, played the wrong way. 
played too short, let Ginting come in with his attack. So um, I, uh, I made it a bit too easy for him that I would like. So, um, but luckily I managed to get the right length on my lifts and uh, came on top in the end. The final day of the Yonex Thailand Open certainly lived up to expectations. In a repeat of the Birmingham final last March, Dechapal Puravaranakro and Sapsri Teratanachai won 14 consecutive points to take the first game 21-3. Praveen Jordan and Malati Deva Octavianti then grabbed the second game 22-20 despite losing a six-point mid-game lead. Little separated the pairs as they headed into the decider. But in the end, the Thais' motivation to claim their first Super 1000 crown pushed them across the finish line. And the, and the 12 year wait is over. ก็ก็คือการเล่นเราก็ยังไม่ได้เอ่อยังไม่ได้หนึ่งร้อยเปอร์เซ็นที่เราคาดไว้แต่ว่าแต่ว่าก็ถือว่าโอเคในช่วงหนึ่งแล้วก็ก็เหมือนกับว่าเราก็พอใจที่ว่าเราเตรียมความพร้อมมาเก้าเดือนแล้วแล้วมันเอาออกมาใช้ได้ครับ Over in men's doubles, Li Yang and Wang Chilin played a solid all-round game to go a game up. It's all about uh, strategy and game plan. Uh. It's more on that. You can see uh, no much uh, long readies and just they're more consistent. Yeah. A little bit today. Yeah. 31-year-old Govi Shem and Tanwi Kyung then dug deep and drew on their experience to level up from two match points down. 我们赛前就已经做好准备，是非常艰难。然后场上又发现真的是很难以得到每一分，所以我们更会更保，会更谨慎的去取得每一分。所以变得出手相对来讲有点太保守，所以到最后分数有拉开之后，还是很容易被拿拿到很近的状态。With the psychological advantage of having won their two previous encounters, Li and Yang added their biggest trophy to date, but not after squandering another two championship points. Now,现在还是还在兴奋中，呃，还在紧张，因为其实第三局我们十九比十三大幅度领先，结果被追到十九比二十。其实当下自己已经有点有点打到有点慌乱掉，有点没有想法，所以最后可以顺利拿下的时
today. And he's done it two Super 1000 titles back to back. I'm really happy and uh, obviously proud, you know. I was a little bit um, in a weird situation coming into this tournament. Many things have happened since I played last. A surgery in my ankle, uh, uh, birth of my, my daughter, uh, our daughter. So um, I've been uh, training as hard as I could, but I didn't really know where I was um, playing wise. So I'm just really proud and happy that I managed to win this tournament because it's not easy against so good opponents. That's it for this episode of Badminton Unlimited. Join us next week as we continue to follow the action on the courts of Bangkok with the second Super 1000 event of the Asian leg, the Toyota Thailand Open. Till then, take care and stay safe.